Hi guys, welcome back to another video today. We're going to be creating this eye look. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just keep on watching. I did my eyebrows off camera, so if you guys want to see a separate video about that, let me know. Okay guys, so we're going to begin by using the ABH 2.0 concealer. I use that concealer to clean out my eyebrows, but we're also going to be using it as an eyeshadow primer. You're going to grab a translucent powder and set the concealer so your eyeshadows don't crease. We're going to be moving in with the Modern Renaissance palette and grab the colors Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange with the fluffy brush and we're going to be applying those in our crease and be using those as a transition color. Up, we're going to be grabbing the Wet n Wild setting spray with the flat brush and we're just going to spray it a little bit and grab a pigment to highlight our brow bone. The pigment we're going to be using is Vermeer from the ABH palette. Next up we're going to be grabbing the color Love Letter and we're going to be applying that also on a crease. I'm using a Sephora brush. All my brushes, I will be linking them down below. Next up, I'm going to be grabbing this dark brown color. I do not know the name. I can't pronounce it. But I'm going to be using that with a smudge brush on our outer corners. I'm going to be grabbing a blending brush and blending in that dark brown to blend in with the rest of the colors that we have applied on our island. So we're going to be grabbing the setting spray and the flat brush again and we're going to spray a little bit because we're going to be using the Makeup Forever palette and we're going to be grabbing a gold foiled color to apply on our eyelid. What the setting spray is going to do, it's going to bring out the pigment a bit more so it's a bit more shinier. The name of the color is ME910. So I went ahead and I grabbed this MAC palette and we grabbed this black shade and applying it on our outer corner just to intense the look a bit more. All the products that I'm going to be using today I'm going to be linking them down below in the description box just in case you guys are interested. So I went ahead and I grabbed the blending brush to blend out the shade we applied on our outer corner. So now I'm going to go in with the Duo Clear Glue and we're going to be using the Eyelashes 105 from Ardell. You can find these eyelashes at any drugstore, for example Walgreens or CVS. Now I'm going to move in with my face. For my face I'm going to be using the Mary Kay Beige 5 and also the Fit Me Foundation in the shade 335. Now I'm going to be grabbing a damp beauty blender and I'm just going to be dabbing that all around my face to get an even layer. Okay guys, so now I went ahead and I finished my entire face. Now we're going to be grabbing the 2.0 concealer. We're going to be using that concealer to conceal our under eyes. So now we're going to bake and I'm going to be using the CoverGirl translucent powder and I'm going to be applying that with a wedge sponge. You can find these sponges honestly anywhere at the dollar store, at Walgreens, CVS and they're really cheap. Now we're going to move on to contouring. I'm going to be using the ABH contour palette in the colors light to medium and I'm just going to be grabbing a regular angled bronzing brush. 
Just to contour, I'm going to be using all three shades, so I will be listing those down below in the description box. Now that I have finished contouring, I went ahead and I grabbed all the shades that I put on my eyelid and applied them on my under eye. So now I'm going to be grabbing my NYX glitter in the color Crystal Gold. And basically what I'm going to be doing with that is I'm going to be applying it on my inner corners of my eyes to intense the look a bit more and make my eyes pop out. While the glitter was drying, I started to contour my nose and I used the powder that was already on the contour brush to contour. Now we're going to continue by highlighting. I'm going to be using the ADH Glow Kit and grabbing the color Sunburst to highlight our cheekbones and our nose and our cupid's bow. So I learned this trick a while back by many YouTubers and I grabbed some setting spray and a fan brush and I sprayed the brush a little bit and dipped my brush into the same shade we used to highlight and what the setting spray is going to do is going to intense the glow a bit more. So I went in with the Best Lash Extreme Mascara by Jordan and I'm just going to apply that to the falsies. So now I went ahead and I used my Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit and I used this mascara for my bottom lashes since it has a really small and thin brush I use that always for my bottom lashes. Sorry guys, I had to grab my hair. It was going all over my face and since my room is extremely hot, I had to grab it up. So I went ahead and I grabbed this big palette. I got it at the flea market and I'm going to be using the darkest shade just to intense my contour and bronzing a bit more. So now I'm going to go in with this red lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Sad Girl. I first went in with the pink lipstick but I did not like it so I had to erase it. And I'm going to be using this one. As you could tell it's kind of almost gone. So we're just going to work with whatever we have. Now to finish everything, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild setting spray to set my entire face. So I went ahead and I fixed up my eyebrows a bit more and I am grabbing the ABH eyebrow gel just to settle down my eyebrows and fill them in a little bit more. Here is a little close up on my eyes so you guys can see a bit better. Okay guys, this is the final look. I truly hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys want to see any other type of video, for example, me doing a challenge or I'm truly open to do anything, um, let me know in the description down below. In the comments down below. Let me know in the comments down below or simply just hit me up on my social media. I'm going to be putting those in the description box. So feel free to um, let me know anything. Um, feel free to let me know how you, if you like this look or not. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe because, yeah, I'm starting. So I have a couple of videos, but I'm starting off with this as like an official one because, yeah. So... I'm going to be start doing more now that I moved into a bigger room and I have my little mini vanity over here. So yeah, so feel free to let me know your your opinions towards this look and what other kind of look you guys want to want to see 
later on. So yeah, feel free to let me know and thank you for joining. Bye bye. Dreams and flight, and we'll fly.